On today's video, I will show you how I use these images to create this composition. All the images that I used are in the description of the video. Alright, now the speed of this video is four times the normal speed. So if you want to see the original speed, you can go to the settings of the video and change it to 0.25. So the video got too long, so I made it four times the speed. Anyways, I started off with removing all these backgrounds. If you want to learn how to remove backgrounds from photos, I'll link that video here up in the screen. And the first thing I did here was placing all these images in the right position how I wanted it. And after that, I just added some hue and saturation to both of these images to get rid of all these colors so they blend in better together. After that, I created this little dot on the left side that you see. So that's where I want my lighting to be and creating different curves layers on both of these images and get rid of all the highlights. And with brushing the mask with a normal brush, I create light on areas that I want my lighting to be. So for instance, you can see here I, I'm bringing back all the lighting on, on the part on the face of this tiger here. So creating different curves layers, removing removing the effect again to get the lighting back on these places now while i removed all these backgrounds i also removed the whiskers of this tiger so what i did here was bringing back the whiskers so you get these little details still in the composition you can draw these with with a pen tool make sure to select the shape and add some stroke to it and remove the fill color of it so now as you can see i got these whiskers back and what i usually do I just brush the ends of these whiskers so you have like this soft end so it looks more real and now I'm just brushing parts lighter again this is what I do to lighten up areas even more so I usually just fill it with percent gray and use the dutch tool to lighten up areas so we can create shadows and highlights on these two subjects as you can see here I'm just lighting up this little kid here as I have lighting on the left side here, so you want to make sure on the top side and left side is lighting up on this little kit. And after that I can just create another curves layer to put more contrast in it. And after that I will create some, some dark areas on the clothing, so you have like little details in the clothing. You can create little shadows on clothing especially if the clothing is light colored as you can see here this upper clothing of this little boy is almost white to gray so it's really easy to create some extra shadows in it and at the end it will look really cool when you're finished with the whole composition so basically i'm just brushing here areas lighter and darker so brushing these areas on the lighting for the lighting on the clothing and stuff like that that took the most time of it and as you can see after that I'm starting off with creating shadows here I have a great background here so you can see this really good when we are brushing shadows so this is just done with a normal brush normal soft round brush and dropping blow and opacity really low so I can brush a couple of times on some areas you can, so I can see how this looks so here I'm just brushing again and after that I will just duplicate this whole layer of this little kid, make it black and after that just changing the perspective even create more more shadows of it and doing the same for this for this tiger here making sure the shadow is going on the opposite position of the lighting because we have this lighting on the left side we'll make sure we have some shadows on the other side And to make that shadow look even better, I use a little bit of blur to it, add some blur to it. And you can use this, this kind of blur, field blur, if you want to blur out different parts. So for instance, when you have a shadow close to the subject itself, it needs to be like sharper than on the other end. So as far as it moves away from the subject, the, the shadow needs to be blurred out a little bit more than at the start point. After that I added some shadow to to this hand, under his hand, because he's like 
touching this tiger so you want to make sure there's a bit of shadow coming from his hand and touching on this tiger and now I'm just moving this kid around because I'm not not sure which place I want it on the edge of this tiger's face or on the center so this guy I'm just playing around with all these settings here and yet again I'm brushing more shadows because it feels like this wasn't enough shadows so this is all the time I spent on adding shadows as you can see under the paw it also needs a little bit more shadow because that's where the paw like goes up and you want to make sure that area underneath it is still a little bit darker than normal area around it now once I was satisfied with all the shadows and lighting on this on these subjects I started with adding foreground and background so this is the foreground I added uh, something with grass in it so I can like hide this little kid's leg inside the grass and also this tiger is paws underneath the grass behind the grass whatever and the only thing I have to do here is to use a brush and use like this grass or doom grass brush from photoshop so you just create a mask and you start brushing these parts at the bottom like they are standing in between the grass make sure to disable color dynamics it looks more real and start off with brushing all these areas underneath it so after that I will just only spend all the time on making things better so the video got really long it was even more than an hour and I removed some parts of it some stuff that was important to show so you can see I will spend a lot of time on getting the shadows even better and actually I was really struggling with getting these shadows right because it was a little bit difficult on this one and sometimes that happens when I was done with the whole composition I just added some Lightroom filters one of my filters you can get those if you check the link in the description and I think I tried like maybe 10 or more different backgrounds because I didn't know what kind of background was best I had a couple of them and couldn't pick so in this video you will see I will end up with a different background than the photo I uploaded on Instagram so check out the whole video if you want to see how this ends and thanks for watching hope you enjoyed my content don't forget to subscribe too.